welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna do something special for you today on this one. We're gonna take you through a detailed load of EthOS. I think you'll like it, stay tuned. All right, we're gonna to navigate to GPU Shack. Then we're gonna find the EthOS 16 gigabyte download. That's the digital download that's out there. You're gonna to add to cart and then do the checkout. Now you'll get an email that kind of looks like this. Essentially, it's going to show you an email link to the download and included will be a username and password. Once you get there, you're gonna click on the link. It's gonna prompt you for that username and password and you're gonna download it. It's gonna be just under one gig for the download. Once that's downloaded, you're gonna need two pieces of software. You're gonna need seven zip compression tool to allow you to uncompress this file. That'll uncompress to about a seven gigabyte file that kind of looks like this. The next tool you're gonna to need is hard drive raw copy. It's HDD raw copy. This will allow you to quickly and easily write this image to an SSD or really technically any drive for that matter. Now, before we go to writing the image on a physical drive, you're going to need to get that drive plugged into a PC. You can do that through a SATA connection or pick up an external SATA 3.0 hard drive docking station like we have here. These are pretty cheap and totally worth the purchase, especially if you're going to do multiple rigs. Now, with EthOS, they charge per license, so you want to throw them a bone to help their development efforts as they don't charge an incremental charge once you own the license. But you could also work with your own Linux build and then download all the drivers yourself and keep cloning to your heart's content. So getting back, let's write this image by opening the hard drive guru. And the very first thing it's going to be asking you is selecting the source. What is the image? So looking on the left hand side under bus, choose the file option. Just click anywhere on that line. This will launch an explorer view. Navigate to the raw ethos and then the version number for this particular one, it's 1.2.0. Select that and continue. The next prompt, it's gonna ask you where the target is. Remember this, you just did the source, this is going to be the target. Make sure the correct drive is selected. Look closely at the model and the capacity. Make sure you're choosing the right appropriate SSD. In this case, we're putting it in on a 120 gig Kingston drive, so it says Kingston under the model and the capacity is 120.03 gigabytes. Then go ahead and click continue and let it write to the drive. This will not take very long, and once it's complete, you're good to go. Take the drive over to your mining rig and get it plugged in. Once ETHOS boots up and you're presented with the ETHOS dashboard, the terminal window is located on the right side. Just think of it like the Windows command prompt for you Windows bubbies. There are some custom commands in here that ETHOS includes. You can see those by typing help me, all as one word as shown here. Now the first thing that we want to do is stop the miner. This stops the currently out of the box configured miner settings. Next up, you want to take out the remote configuration as more than likely you're setting this up for a local mining, i.e. single rig. Do this by typing VI, then a space, remote.conf. Hit enter and you'll see the address in here. You want to delete that. So just hit the delete key, hold it until it's removed. Now after that, you're going to want to hit your escape key, then hold shift, colon, then a lowercase x, just like we showed you here. After that, hit enter. That'll take you back to the command prompt. After that, you're going to want to set up the local config. You do that by typing vi local.conf. To edit these lines, you're going to hit your insert key, navigate with your arrow keys, and the first task you should be trying to do is change that wallet address out with your wallet address. Now you can get a wallet address for, let's say, Ethereum by downloading JAX to your phone. In addition to that, you want to check the pool information. Is this the pool that you want to use? You can try ETH pool and a whole bunch of different Ether mine. You name it, there's a lot of different pools out here. Now before we get out of here, you can scroll down to see a lot of the other commands that you can use, such as overclocking, voltage configuration, fan settings, and much more. As an example, if you wanted to update for, let's say, an R9 series graphics card, like an R9 290 or an R9 390, 390X, essentially any of the R9 category of cards. You could get rid of the hashtag in front, hit delete once, and bring it to the front of the line under, let's say, Global Core. Now in an R9, most of the R9s, they like Global Cores of about 1150. That's a good overclock for ones that can handle it, along with memory settings of 1500. So you just set it up as we have here. Now regarding RX cards, like the RX 470 and 480, there's a little more different configuration when it comes to overclocking within ETHOS. And we're going to dedicate a different video for that as it deserves its own dedicated video. When you're finished in here, again, you wanna hit escape, hold shift, colon, and then use a lowercase x. Hit enter and that should put you back out at the terminal prompt. If you've modified settings, especially overclock, then you're gonna to wanna to type sudo, S-U-D-O, space, eth, 
os, all one word, dash overclock, and then hit enter. That will force the overclock settings and the configuration changes and automatically start the miner. Hopefully this has been a quick and good overview of getting ETH OS for your miner set up. And we hope that you share and like and subscribe. Now I hope on that vlog you liked that one. It was a little different, it really wasn't a vlog, it was more of a kind of tutorial video. But we had a lot of comments of people asking about how the new ETH OS, the 1.2.0, worked and kind of set up from cradle to grave. So we thought using that time to kind of walk you guys through that and set up. I think would be a lot more valuable than just giving you what happened in the last few days. So we've done that. We made a micro center run yesterday. We're going to put a, two videos out today. So that's the ethos is kind of a, a gift to the world to make sure that you guys can go through it, try it, work it out. Ethos just is not for Ethereum. It does, does Zcash and a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll do a separate video for that. I want to be a little more intimate with that one. Do it as a more of a live stream or you know just a direct video versus a kind of a tutorial video to kind of give a, a different touch to that but hope that you enjoyed it stay tuned we're gonna have another video of our uh our little vlog experience with micro center yesterday and i think you'll like that too thanks see ya Bye. I, yeah i have a dream